The 6.5 is on the road at MWC 2024 here in Barcelona. We're in the VMware by Broadcom booth. We are talking all things edge, all things network, security, and a lot more. Dan, how's your show been so far? Yeah, it's been a great show. It, it's, uh, it's a little loud here because the energy is high. We're in Hall yeah. 3. This is sort of the epicenter, I always say, of Mobile World Congress. And, you know, we've kind of talked about this throughout the week, but Pat, it's great to see, you know, that the event is back in full force. And it's also great to see that the trend line of artificial intelligence being the most important conversation in every event, in every part of the planet, uh, has maintained its position here. Because I got to tell you, Pat, that's, that's all I'm hearing about here. No, it is. And, you know, this show is about edge devices, edge capabilities, edge network, and yeah, core network and how uh, carriers and people who depend on carrier services make it happen. And what's key is securing uh, the edge, but also having a good quality of service uh, for external access. So we're here to talk SD-WAN and SASE with Abe from VMware at Broadcom. Great to see you and welcome to the 6.5 first timer. This is yes, great. Indeed. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah if you heard the setup. I go all AI and Pat brings me back and he's like, <laughs> nope, we're talking about Edge. We're going to talk about software defined network. We're going to talk about SASE. We're going to talk about SD WAN. So let's start there. You know, VMware, now part of Broadcom, has been very focused on software defined Edge. That's right. And of course, SASE, of course, uh, SD-WAN, these are both really important parts. Talk a little bit about how all of these things are coming together. So everything that we're doing from a software defined edge perspective is all around enabling the increasingly distributed edge really deliver outcomes, right? And so it starts with, um, on the one hand, really allowing our customers who are undergoing all kinds of digital transformation, whether it's in retail, whether it's in healthcare, connect these distributed edges to workloads and applications that are also distributed. And so the role that SD-WAN and SASE plays within this context is it acts as that intelligent overlay of connecting and securing endpoints and users as they access these applications. And it's all done by making it software defined, right? And so if it's software defined, it drives agility, it drives security, and it makes it very adaptable and programmable. Yeah, I remember five years ago when you had to add a new application uh, to the edge, it was really a bespoke solution. And listen, hardware's great, and flipping uh, you know, CLI for uh, having switches and stuff like that is great, but it's very inflexible. And like you said, actually, what I'm good about to say is the time to get that implemented uh, is radically shorter with these solutions. And now that security is literally off the rails, we have AI versus AI, securing that is, is vitally uh, important. So here at the show, uh, you introduced a new single, uh, single vendor solution. And listen, multi-vendor is great, but there's huge benefits uh, with single. Source, can you talk about the announcement uh, at the show you've made? Yeah, <clears throat> so today we announced Velo Cloud SASE, secured by Symantec. And this is our single vendor SASE solution, which brings together our industry-leading SD-WAN offer with Symantec's industry-defining SSE stack. And so everything that we're doing is, on the one hand, we're bringing these two strong pieces of technology together. Yeah. We're making it easy for our customers to consume these capabilities, which means how do you secure your increasingly distributed edge? How do you, when you're consuming these technologies, how do we make it easy to tie together both the management plane and the data plane? And how do we let our partners, the CSPs, who are delivering managed services, really bring this to bear, right? And so on the one hand, it's a product integration, but equally important is making it easy to consume it, right? And um, we're doing all of this within, by bringing these two really unique capabilities together. Yeah, and so uh, by single vendor, I mean, is it 
Is it one invoice? Is it one system? Or is that you know something you're looking forward to? Or, or, or is that available now? I mean, is it easy to buy? So you know, VMware SD WAN has always is available. So this is so semantic. What we've done is we've provided some interfacing and integration between those products. Okay. And obviously in terms of how you procure and all of those things, we've also made it very easy to do. We have customers who are adding the SD-WAN piece to the SSE stack. We have customers who are adding the semantic piece to the SSE stack. And then we have customers who are buying it together for the very first time as well. Right. The deal like just, it felt like the deal just closed and this is, we're already seeing integration. Yeah, well, I mean, of course, you know, in the background, in that period of time when you can't really talk, there's always collaboration going on. There was collaboration that existed that, you know, predated any, any you know, M&A right. talk, of yeah, course. That's right. Now, now, having said that, you know, the extensibility is palpable. It's, it's impressive. And I think this is, has to be part of Hawk Tan's vision <laughs> of, all the companies that's becoming part of, you know, Broadcom software, enterprise, you know, software, and now having VMware such a, a great tool set. But, but Abe, you know, let's maybe just double click a little bit on the, the, the last line of questioning. You know, you're here at Mo Mobile World Congress, you have customers rolling through the place, you're having conversations, you got Velo Cloud. you're starting to talk about it more. What is their, kind of the ex expectations that are being set? What are you hearing from them? Um, about this offering, are you getting, I mean, you obviously mentioned you have 60,000, but going portfolio wide and truly adopting this, are, are you getting a strong signal of demand? Yeah, so we're seeing a, a lot of what we did here, and you, you, know, you mentioned the fact that, hey, we did this very quickly, right? So, we started partnering with Symantec, you know, several months ago in terms of having an underlying platform that's very extensible, all right? And so what our customers and our partners are super excited about is the ability to bring these leading technologies and capabilities together. It's something that they've, you know, the install base is large as we talked about. And now to be able to innovate together is something that folks are super excited about. And you know, talking about AI, right? Part of this is connectivity, part of it is security, but there's this whole telemetry layer, right? We collect billions of data points daily. We process billions of data points daily. And one of the things that we're able to do is actually innovate with all of that in mind, making it easy to day zero set up these systems, making it easy to set up the day two and support it with a single orchestration framework. It's something that our customers and our partners are super excited about. Uh, when can customers buy the new unified service? Is it Day, is this today? Can, it's can, available today. Okay. It's okay. available today. It took so long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you set an, uh, a GA day uh, as well? No, it's available. Wait the solution is available. Yeah. You, this typically, you're supposed to say a couple months from now, or, or we don't know yet, we'll, we'll let you know. No, it's very impressive. Uh, this close after, uh, after the close date. So, customers are obviously super important. Uh, they're the ultimate barometer of your success, but uh, it takes a village to, to bring this out. And one of the primary routes to market is MSPs, or managed services providers. And I'm curious, what is their reaction, uh, uh, Ben? You know, when it comes to the channel or MSPs, there's always this, okay, these guys are going to go direct on me here. You know, what's going to happen? What's the reaction to the value proposition uh, for them to their customers and their monetization opportunity? So, you know, one, one of the things that our partners, MSPs, love about the solution is it's something that they can package and deliver together with additional services, right? So whether it's taking the capabilities and running an MSSP practice, right? Basically doing a managed SOC on top of it. Or it's taking that solution and selling an underlay right, uh, together with it. And so it's really about bringing us, not just as a product, but as an overall service. And delivering PM, professional services alongside it, allowing their customers and advising the end customers to go through digital transformation, leveraging this as a core asset. Yeah, so it literally, it sounds like your primary motion are the MSPs? Okay, 
So it doesn't get done without the MSPs. That's great. Yeah, I think that's a scale thing. I mean, you know, there's so many customers that are impacted by, you know, managing and securing the network perimeter, doing it efficiently. Um, VMware had such a robust and, and, and well understood channel, and of course, it's evolving, and that's going to be a very interesting thing for us as analysts, for you as, as a market leader to be paying attention to. You know, we haven't, Pat, you know, I started this show off, it's kind of funny, I started off talking about how it was AI, and actually we've made it through this conversation largely without talking about it. You know, we've made, um, I, I didn't know that was possible. I'd be very surprised if the sassy part didn't have some element of AI, but I know we don't have to go there, but well, I'd be was, very surprised. I was surprised. thinking about, you know, maybe putting name on the spot a little bit and just kind of saying, you know, AI is obviously one of the large opportunities for, yeah. you know, proliferating uh, security, proliferating the management of the edge. You know, as you're talking to your customers, Velica, what is, is there any real tie together with machine learning and AI as part of, this, of the solution? And do you see it evolving that way more and more? Yeah, so, so we've been doing AI as part of the solution for quite some time. It's not new. Right. It's not new. Oh, now, generative AI is obviously one of the new areas to this. And so the entire SD1 and SASE offer, when I talk about day zero, day one, day two, there's an AI layer which makes running the service very proactive, right? You've got a highly distributed environment. You don't necessarily have an IT team at every given location. When something goes wrong, how do you proactively identify it? How do you proactively remediate it? We use AI for that. There we go. Yeah, so, all right. Final question, Abe, because I know you got a lot going on here. Talk about, you know, this booth is cool. You know, I mean, there's, literally a, an there's an ambulance, ambulance behind, behind us. us. Hospital you know, on there's, wheels. There's demos all over the place. You can see it's, it's jam-packed with people. In terms of your area of focus, what, it, what are you demonstrating here at MWC 2024? Yeah, so, so the ambulance that's sitting right behind us really encapsulates everything that we're doing at the edge, right? So the, on, within this ambulance is actually, it's running an edge native application, right? It's run an edge native application using video inferencing to drive things like making sure that when this ambulance shows up on the scene of an accident, it has the right amount of supplies and the right stocking levels within it. This ambulance behind that, within that same application, delivers virtual care so that when you're transporting a patient in trauma to a center, if you need a specialist to join by video, you can do that. Now, how do you allow a specialist to join by video when the ambulance is racing down the freeway? You need secure, reliable connectivity. And so within this ambulance, we also have our SD-WAN solution actually providing, um, think about this as a branch on wheels, right? It's literally a hospital on wheels as we described it. And so it, it comes with the connectivity, it comes with the security through SD-WAN and our SASE offer. And then the final third piece is resilient connectivity. And so this ambulance within the SD-WAN solution is also providing a dual 5G connection that provides failover, as an example. And so this ambulance right here really encapsulates everything that we're talking about within the software defined edge, which is easy to provision, secure, and programmable. I totally did not expect that. Um, I mean, we didn't get briefed on the ambulance, but that's, pretty, that's impressive. Yeah, well, it's always great when you know, a company starts to tie all the threads together and does it in a way. Now, of course, you'll see the static demos, they're right. part of every booth and every event on the planet. Look, I mean, when you're walking down the hall and you see 50 static demos and you see an ambulance, you're thinking, you know, that probably is more interesting if I'm going to go spend a few minutes. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, hopefully it's not carrying anybody out that had too much wine here in Barcelona, <laughs> too much wine in tapas. Abe, did they give you uh, did they give you a ride around the block <laughs> in it at all? Not yet. Okay, <laughs> I, I'd ask you that. You're you're paying for this, so uh, I would definitely uh, try uh, to sign up for that trip. That's great, Abe. Hey, I want to thank you so much for sitting down with us here at MWC. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'll thank have you. you back. I look forward to hearing how this uh, sort of you know the market adoption and all that new solutions, but it sounds like they're off to a great start. Well, it is, and I'm really excited. This is the first integration between the two companies that, I, that, that I've covered. Maybe I wasn't paying yeah. attention. This is exciting stuff. Well, you, yeah, Broadcom software, VMware, you yeah. got Symantec in there. No, they're, I know. They're pulling everything together. No, I know. So. 
All right, Abe, we'll catch you later. All right, everybody, hit that subscribe button. Join Patrick and I for all of our coverage here at MWC 2024. And of course, all the 6.5 events, coverage, and more. But for this episode, for Patrick Moorhead and myself, it's time to say goodbye and see you all later. Bye.